Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a look at the stories we are following tonight. How can they possibly do that? Outrage among residents who lost Wixom and Sanford Lakes due to dam failures. Getting those lakes back might cost them. That's according to a proposal by the Four Lakes Task Force. Under that plan, residential lake homes will be assessed anywhere from $237 a year to up to $3,100 a year for decades, depending on the lake. The money would cover the cost to reconstruct and or rehabilitate the Seacord, Smallwood, Sanford and Wixom Lakes. With what's happened with this disaster to hit them with that on top of everything they've got to do with their homes, fixing them, not getting covered by any kind of reimbursement out of their own pockets, it's outrageous. The total price tag could reach up to $400 million. Dr. Anthony Fauci, head of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, says to expect coronavirus to worsen in the coming months. I just think we need to hunker down and get through this fall and winter because it's not going to be easy. We know every time we restrict, we lift restrictions, we get a blip. I mean, it's getting, it's whack-a-mole. He says it's hard to predict how the flu might play into the pandemic this winter. He's hoping for a mild flu season like what's happening in Australia. But local health officials say making that a possibility depends on whether people continue to mask up and keep their distance. A sizable jump in coronavirus cases reported in Michigan today with more than 1300 new cases and nine new deaths. That brings the state's totals to more than 110,000 cases and the death toll to 6,578. In Genesee County, Mott Community College hosted its annual 9-11 reflection ceremony. Mott says a pandemic was not going to get in the way of remembering and honoring those who lost their lives 19 years ago. The ceremony was socially distanced and included words and messages of unity from the college's president and local first responders. And now here's Brian with a look at our weather. Well, thanks very much, Meg. Heading into the weekend, we're not going to see quite as much sunshine as we saw out there today on our Saturday, but we'll eventually get back to some for the second half of the weekend. Today's sunshine, courtesy of high pressure, which is now over Lake Huron and will continue out of the uh, region to the east overnight. And that allows this sprawling storm system, an upper level area of low pressure over the Dakotas and one over parts of Missouri. All of that moisture will gradually build its way in along with cloud coverage later on tonight. And eventually as we hit tomorrow, some isolated showers will give way to more widespread thunderstorms as we head into tomorrow evening. But the hour by hour forecast as far as this evening and the overnight weather is concerned will go from mostly clear skies between 11 p.m. and midnight on into mostly cloudy skies after about 3 to 4 o'clock in the morning. And while it's not really being indicated here, I won't completely rule out some of you folks near Mount Pleasant, Clare, Houghton Lake to see a stray shower build in during the overnight period. Better chance for those coming in around mid morning or so tomorrow. That round of rain will be brief. Everybody dries back out under mostly cloudy skies by midday and then some new showers and thunderstorms will begin to develop to our west during the afternoon and stream into the picture tomorrow evening and into the overnight period. Some of these storms have a very low chance of becoming severe, but the bigger threat from them really just going to be some instances of gusty winds and a few heavy downpours for tonight. Lows around 51 degrees, not quite as chilly for most of us as it was last night. Clouds going back on the increase with again a stray shower possible after about three o'clock in the morning. 74 the high temp for tomorrow with morning showers. Brief drying, mostly cloudy, and then a round of shower, uh, round of thunderstorms that is for tomorrow afternoon and evening. Those showers persist into Sunday morning. Then we get back to some sun in the afternoon, 73. And this time around, we're going to keep the sun going for a few more days. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, seeing plenty of it with highs starting in the upper 60s and getting back to the upper 70s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.